back now on Try It today, and I have to confess, I was not a good student in science when I was in school 100 years ago, and especially in biology, but don't worry about that. I'm saved because next to me are three, I'm going to call them three biologists. I don't care what they want to be called. They're great, intelligent, great people from Winston-Salem State University, and I'm so glad they're with us. On my immediate right, Dr. Manju Bhatt is Department Chair of Biological Sciences at Winston-Salem State University. Next to him is Carrie Dawson, a biology major, class of 2019. Next to her is uh, Zakaya Henry, also a biology major, class of 2019. I'm intimidated by the three of you, but I still, I'm so glad you're here anyway. Uh, good Thank to you. see you. Good seeing you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for hosting us. Um, now, we hear a lot about Winston-Salem State's uh, health program and their nursing program when I was a little boy growing up in the 50s. I mean, we heard about all sorts of friends of ours going to the nursing school. A lot of great reputations there yes. in health. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't hear as much about uh, biology is like the hidden gem or something. Now, it's one of the fastest growing majors there. How is that? Why do you explain that growth? Yeah, Jim, so indeed, it's a fact. Nursing is one of, considered one of our flagship programs at WSSU. Biology is growing. Uh, part of the reason is in the last few years, we have made a concerted effort in three parts, recruitment, retaining students, and help them graduate. Well, it's a great strategy, but how, if you had to say what's unique about it, how would you describe the uniqueness of the program? I think Kari and Zakaya can sort of probably attest to this. We are a caring family. We nurture our students. We pay one-on-one -on -one attention. We meet with them one-on-one, -on -one, formally and informally. We give them the opportunities, not just in the classroom, outside of the classroom. Don't treat them like a number. Correct. Like, they I, are not a number. Yeah. They are not a number. That's great. Yes, yep. Now, uh, ladies, I'm going to ask you this, and anybody can answer in any order you want to, but my first question is, what has your experience in the biology program and experience at, at Winston-Salem State University meant to you personally? Carrie? Um, well, I'd like to point out that I'm a non-traditional student. I transferred from North Carolina A&T State University. Okay. And when I first came to Winston, there was, you know, some challenges adjusting. And I felt like the biology department really took me in, so to speak. Um, I found a lot of comfort there, and I'm surrounded by endless sources of inspiration. That's great. Yeah, it's you know, amazing. my wife took me in years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a whole, it's a whole different story. Um, uh, Zakai, what about you? Um, for me, I would definitely say that my WSSU experience overall, including being in the department, has been one for the books. I do not believe that I could have gotten the experience that I'm getting now anywhere else. Like she said, from the resources, like Dr. Bott said, from the family, getting that one-on-one, -on -one, the mentor knows me, I know the professor. It's just a really great experience. We call it at Winston State a rambling because our mascot is the ram, and we feel right. that family mm -hmm. environment, so it's just great experience. Absolutely. Now, very quickly, ladies, uh, tell me what plans you have uh, after graduation. Uh, let's start with you, Carrie. So I plan on going to Mongolia um, this June for a Peace Corps, so I'll be there for 27 months. Bless your heart. Yes, <laughs> yes, sir. Peace Corps, that's, yes. that's, that's tough work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is, mm -hmm. but it'll be such a, an amazing, enriching experience, and then following Peace Corps, graduate school. Graduate school, and then what do you want to do then, you think? I don't know. It's kind of open. Like well, the you more have to decide right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, right now. Uh, Zakai, go ahead. Um, I will be getting my PhD in toxicology at Rutgers University in New Jersey wow. after graduation. Wow, that's something yes. else. Uh, Manju, <laughs> and you said it was okay to call you Manju. So yes, please. Uh, yes. Show, you know, so I was such a bad student in science, I feel bad about calling you by your first name. But mm -hmm. anyway, you might, grade, <laughs> you might grade me down for Correct. that. Um, construction's underway yep. for a new science building. Now, mm -hmm. how is that going to impact on your program? So, as you mentioned, in the earlier, so our program is expanding. So we're recruiting more students, retaining more students. We need more space. So the new $53 million new science building is double the space from what we currently have. Mm -hmm. It has state-of-the-art classrooms, collaborative learning. It's not a traditional classroom setting. We have collaborative research um, space. And this all will help not only recruit students, but give our students the opportunity. We just, have collaborative research. What a great um, success program. story. I'm yep. so, I'm so proud of all of you. Yep. Uh, up on screen, www.wssu.edu, and for the radio listening audience in WSJS, wssu.edu. Please check that out. And again, I'm so proud of what you're doing and, and the great familial program there that they call biology and yep. biological science. All right. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back after this.